pretty fucking badass. That is true. I think, oh dear, I think I got that. Okay, go ahead and put this on speaker view and double click on Leah demo so you can see. All right, so here's the trick with a lot of three quarter poses. Sometimes, as you've noticed with the last two paintings, we've been able to do this kind of like half, 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 half thing, you know, this quarter thing, but not with this picture. Part of it is that she's got a lot of hair, so her skull probably stops about here. And then the hair piles on top of her head, right? Um, like if you had a bouffant hairdo or something like that. So really, what the way we're going to divide this, oh, I need my kitten has knocked down all my pins. We are going to divide the face a different way. We're still going to run. We're going to start here. We're going to run a line from the middle, but we're going to stop at the we're going to stop at the where the hair where the where the forehead meets the hairline and then we're going to divide this into thirds if i remember correctly yeah yeah i think it's about like that one two three one two, three. So a lot of times on a three quarter, you will divide your face into thirds. And then we'll deal, I'll show you how to deal with the hair. And I'd love to say, oh, every time on the third faces are gonna be here, here, and here, but we just don't really know. So if you can see here, the first third, this is like, to, yep, the first third is here, and it kind of hits right above her eye level. The second third uh, contains her nose, but her nose stops here, and the and the so one third, two thirds. The mouth is contained in this top third. So when you sketch your first line in, and her head's kind of at a diagonal. Right, it's tilted. So you're gonna do a straight line. Oops, and notice I, cause I'm a little bit tired. I didn't give myself enough room for the top of my head. So I'm gonna move down. Make sure I have enough room to, yep. And make sure I have enough room for the top of my head here. So I'm gonna start with a construction that looks like this. Uh, might bring her down a little bit, a little bit bigger. Here's the top and the bottom. And I'm going one, two, three. So I know where those thirds are. So that is the first step. If you guys want to try it. And the thirds can be any size, right? I mean, the thirds have to be equal. Well, right, but. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the thirds, right. You can make your, your better to say, make your vertical desk distance any size, any size, and then you can divide it into three equal thirds, and that will be proportionally correct. The ratios will work. Let me know when you guys are ready. Nice. That Lisa, that must be the birds out in your yard. Yes. Oh, you're next door neighbors then. Not your next door right. neighbors. <laughs> your next door neighbors. Well, those are the good next door neighbors, right? Yeah, right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, quite a few birds. Lovely. Um, I love this photo of Ida B. Wells. She is so 
I love the expression. I love her features. I love the tilt of her head. I love how strong she is. It's a wonderful and challenging portrait for drawing. Totally worth the effort. Um, the second line, as usual, we're going to draw at the one third mark. And I'm kind of drawing at an angle so I hit the tip of, so I've got the one third mark. So we're almost at the center of the eyes. The eyes are a little bit below the center line. I might use this one. I drew the other day. Yeah. Starting at the ear, and notice this is at a diagonal. It's not straight across like this. It goes at a diagonal. And this width is basically from the ear to the edge of the right eye, the eye on our right, is the same size as the vertical distance. So when I'm sketching it, and remember, we'll measure eyes in a second. We're going to guess. So remember when you're kind of trying to place your distance. So Lisa B, don't uh, put this line through the middle of the face, right? There's like basically one eye on this whole side of the face. Yep. Yep. So it's like, it's like a quarter of the whole distance? Well, that's a really good question. Let's measure it and see. If I, if I use the eyes to measure, this one's a little bit wonky, so bear with me. Um, if I use the eyes to measure, like I, I measure from here to here, right? And I go up one, two, it's a basically one, Two eyes here to the left. And then one eye. So wait. Let me get this right. One, two, a little bit less than two eyes to the right, to the left. One, one, two. So I guess it's basically, she is basically five eyes. A little bit less than five eyes across. But notice that the eye on this side, so she's basically about an eye and a head. When I when I when I divide the when I divide this this way, so one eye, two eyes, three eyes, four eyes. Oh, she's not quite five eyes. Here's the fifth eye. So if I divide this, notice that she's basically about one eye wide on this side. And the eye here is smaller. So if I use this eye as a measurement, she's about one eye on this side, and then one, two, three, three and a half, four and a half. She's like four and a half eyes. So how does that really look? in terms of like, let's see. I'm gonna guess, let me draw that line. I'm gonna try and one, two, one, two, three, four. That needs to be a little bit bigger. She's less than five, but not exactly four. So I'm drawing like my two eye lengths here, then the actual eye, then the third eye length, then here's the fourth. So it should be one. So notice I'm kind, I'm sort of guessing. At first I'm trying to get the whole width. One eye. One, two, three, there we go, four. Mm -hmm. 
I should scoot it. I think I've got it too wide on the left here. All right, let's try this again. See how I'm kind of fiddling with this to find my eye distances? So I'm making sure, first of all, that this distance that distance is that has to be the same as this so these are the same but i'm kind of guessing where those eyes might go so first i'm going to divide this into like four and a half eyes one one two three, four, that's about four and a half. And I know that the, so it's a little bit, I think this is probably about right. And the eyes are going to be here, kind of at a, at a slant there. And then this one's going to be here, contained in this section, but a little bit lower. There'll be skin on either side, a little bit smaller. The ear is really contained within this first. I heard that. Yeah, that's Julia. Hi, Julia. The ear is really here. Feels lonely. Oh, Julia. What's the other thing we can tell about this one third mark? What about the where? Where can we tell the features are? I think the eyes are about here and here. I think the ear is this first eye. See, I'm using this as a measure. Where else can, what other feature can we tell by looking at these measurements, where, that, that it, where it is? Um, the nose. Where is the nose? It's above uh, the- That two -third third two-third point. Two-thirds of the way down, or three-quarters of the way down from there. Absolutely, so the nose is probably here. And then what else can we see? What can you see about this two-thirds mark? The mouth. It's yeah, the top of the mouth. Yeah. So we can kind of add maybe one. Interesting. And the mouth, although, and the mouth probably starts here. And one, two. Probably ends about here. Bottom of the mouth, uh, top of the mouth, bottom of the mouth, bottom of the nose. And just like these others, just like the other faces, once again, on this side, the side of the nose is lined up with her tear duct. On this side, because of the turn, ah, it does look like it's kind of lined up with the tear duct. So, I even know that her, the side of the nose here is probably, I just made way too big is lined up with the tear duct and over here as well, the other side of the nose. And I know that the shape on this side, and I also know that that the edge of the mouth is lined up with the center of the irises. I'm gonna add those in. We'll talk about I mean, the other thing that's interesting about this pose is that she is looking this direction. So her eyes are, you know, kind of perfectly spaced out, but I can still see that that middle line of her mouth kind of goes from here. To there. Yeah. 
We also know that her nose is tilted right and the mouth is tilted. I mean, nothing's straight. It's all kind of tilted a little bit because she's turned her head. And then once we get those in, we can kind of sketch out the shape of her hair, first by measuring. So we can tell that her hair, let's check actually, if I go to the very top of her head, it's about two thirds of her face. So her hair goes up about two thirds higher than her face. So I can do this. I can go to my two thirds, come here. I know this is the top of the head. So see how I'm always kind of trying to find my bounds before I I, I'm trying to find sort of my outer edges before I start doing anything too radical. Is that right? Two thirds, yep. Two thirds, okay. So that's the top of her bun, very top of her head. Do you guys want me to stop while you catch up at this moment or? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a little lost on your two thirds marks, Leah. Why, oh, where, where are they? they are, and so the nose is just above the two thirds and the mouth is just below. Yeah, right. yeah, here is, a, let me mark them in blue so you can really see. Yeah, them. it's kind of hard, I'm a little lost. It's on very them. hard to see them, so there you go. You can also measure them yourself. Right. But yes, they are, and in fact, I'll do even better. I'll do this in red. I know it's tricky when you can't, but you can't really, you don't, all you have is that photo I sent you. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah That's where they are. Right yeah. You guys are doing great. <laughs> think. That's right. I'm just double checking my measurements always. Hey, sorry, hold on. It's all measuring. People are like, it's math, but it's not exactly math. It really is measuring. It's making sure, I mean, you're not doing a lot of, if, I've had people try to turn this into math and it's just a nightmare. Like what they come up with makes no effing sense at all. It really is thinking visually and spatially. So think about it less as math and more as, you know, like, do I have this in the right place? If this is here, do I put this here? How long is this compared to that? That's a lot of what faces is. Notice how much uh, significantly, here I'll sketch it out so you can really see it, how significantly smaller this whole side is than this side. I mean, it's 
it's amazing. We can see the whole face, like we can see the whole side. We know she was looking directly at us that these sides would be equal, but look at the difference. It's huge. It's weird to think of a face as having sides, but they do. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the line across the years, that five eyes uh, measurement, mm -hmm. is equal to the uh, the diagonal, diagonal line in uh, here, line. from here to here. Yeah. From is here it equal to, to the this? Yes. Yeah. This is equal to that. And that is four and a half eyes where it's crossing, right? Yeah. So first you find the distance, you hmm. make sure that this distance is like this, then you can divide it into four and a half or four and three quarter size. Okay, great. Thank you. I'm so proud of you guys. This is great questions. Hi, Leah. I joined late and then I was, I couldn't figure out my audio. <laughs> uh, hi, hi, Jillian. Let me, um, I'll put you in on the, I, I have a video of this, so you'll be, which I'll be able to upload in a couple of hours. So you'll be able to go back and catch what you missed. Cool. For the moment, we are building a face. We started with this line and then we went to this line. This line and this line are the same length, and we've divided the face into thirds. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let me know when you guys are ready to start sketching the outside shape of the face. Oh, did we get a copy of the image? Uh, I've sent it on the WhatsApp thread, so okay, cool. I will have to stop the lesson and get that to you. Hang on, let me get you in on it. One minute. Oh, went out, Leah. What well, it did because I have to take the phone down to get Jillian oh. on the group. Okay, sorry. Yep, that's okay. I'm that sorry. means we're just concentrating. <laughs> okay. Um, here's the picture. I'll put it up. You know, if you want to, I can actually, let me put up the picture. Um, there it is. Jillian, you should see it and you should be added on WhatsApp. But why don't, um, I can keep Leah demo up, but I can also put up the picture if that would be helpful. Would that be helpful to you guys? Yeah. Here, hold on. Jillian, I can tell you, you are probably going to need to, oh shoot. I can tell you that you're probably going to need to go back and watch the beginning of this video for this really to this class to really make sense for you. But um, do the best you can. Yeah, I was I was at last week. So I get the, the concept. Yes, yeah. but the proportions and the measurements are different. different. So yeah, they are one thirds and not quarters. Okay, not hair and all that. So anyway, but anyway, this will be here. So we'll get that. So let me position that. And then how about or can you guys just see enough of the marking up here? Would you like me to share the photo? Yes. Yes. Okay. The one right. with the markings. Yeah. So, oh, not the one with the markings. The, that's here. I don't okay. have that. I have the photo itself. Yeah, the, photo, the actual original photo would be great. The original photo. So this markings were is here. Uh, I can, okay, so let's do this. I can send you a picture of that across the WhatsApp thread, and then I will share. Let me call up, none. Oh, the teaching of Zoom. <laughs> How to make this work. Let's see, class info. We're gonna have our awards call on Zoom on Saturday. Are you? Yeah. Uh, 
how are you planning to draw people there? Is it people are going to be there because they might win? Yeah, that, that's the only reason you're going to be there. All right, here, hold on. No one else would be interested. Maybe I would. <laughs> Just to watch. That's my intro. Yeah, I'd you like to see that. Fun. Okay, hang on, guys. I'm just trying to turn up the. There we go. Okay, so I have her upside down because somebody else was drawing her. All right, here we go. Okay, here is the actual photo. Um, big, and then I will take a picture and send it across WhatsApp. How's that? I will take a picture and send it across WhatsApp of the sketch that I've done. So you can see the yeah, measurements on help. it. Yes. yes. All right. Then we've got this. <laughs> here we go. Um, here we go. Here we go. How's that, guys? And then I'll keep this up. And then when we're ready to keep going, I can pull this down and we can go, but I'll still be on the small screen so you can still see. Am I on the small screen? Yes, I'm on the small screen. Okay. So if you want to get me on one of the screens on the side. Oh, I hate okay. Hold on. Let's see here. Let's try that. And. There you go. Okay, great. Everything's there. She's beautiful. Isn't she gorgeous? Yeah. Wow. She's a, I was looking at all the ones that you've done, Diana, and the ones that Reg has done, and I was like, who has not been done? And then I found her, and I found this photo, and I was like, this is it. Yeah, she's absolutely beautiful, isn't she? Yeah. Just a stunner. Those eyes, that look that, I mean, everything. I'm gonna do her when I finish my Martin Luther thing. Excellent. Because I have problems with him. Yeah, that's a tough one, to get everything in just the right, you know, get it kind of the, in the right places. But Can I you guys give me just a minute? I need to run outside for a moment. I shall return. Mine looks more like Errol Flynn than <laughs> Martin Luther King Jr. <coughs> yeah, Diana, my husband could not guess who mine was last week. I held up Martin Luther King and he just, he could not figure it out, so. <laughs> It's a hard one. I know. I feel like it, he should have been easier than he was. But. I'm painting, so I can paint over it and over it and over it. That's the good thing with painting. God, my cat is constantly complaining today. What's wrong, baby?
How's it going, guys? To hell. It's hell? Going to hell. <laughs> I wasn't talking about the, the, the world, Diana. <laughs> well, me neither. Me neither. Yeah, this is a tough one because of the turn of her head. But I'm not even doing her. <laughs> oh, you're struggling along with Martin, huh? Yeah. You can always try the old upside down trick. Yeah. I'm not fun to give up, so I, I get there eventually. Yes, you will. Um, I always tend to put the mouth too low. So I'd like to revisit that. That's not my problem. But I have many other problems. <laughs> Do you want to send it to me? No, not particularly because <laughs> I'm doing everything wrong, well, but I can do it just for fun because it nothing is in the right place right now. Okay. Maybe I can figure out <coughs> where to start. It's okay. It's okay. I can <coughs> Oh, you're right. I have I have not worked on the other. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh my goodness. And the very excuse me. I just discovered you can erase watercolor pencil. Oh, cool. Um, all right. I think Diana that you've got to trim in uh, the face on our left. That's gonna be the biggest help. Yeah. Probably narrower, and I found when I was doing this, and also lips. I, I haven't started on the eyes yet. I'm gonna, okay, I'm not looking at the eyes, I'm absolutely not looking at the eyes. Also, look, he, I think his hairline goes back a little bit. So, yeah. what I think what's really off is the face shape. I don't yeah. think anything else is off. So, I would say, really look. At where his hairline starts. Yeah, I uh, I've uh, I think I like the. Too I feel like the bottom right. That's very good. That looks like King. It's the side, the left, our left side of him. Yeah, that's a trouble spot, and and uh, that's anyway. That's where I struggled a lot too. I found it was really easy to yeah. get off. I I think you. All right. Zoom. Anybody else want to send anything over? You can if you want. We're kind of in the early stages, so we probably really won't know. I'm going to send you mine, Leah, one sec. Okay. <laughs> it happens, right? Okay, let's see. So, Lisa, you went too far too fast. Um, oh. Too far too fast. All right. She's, uh, don't do this face. The, uh, the shape of the, uh, you need his, you need her ear. Yeah. You need to get her ear in before you kind of don't want to go any farther than where I'm at. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to drop out now. Okay. I'm going to try and get this done in the next couple of days. Okay, great. And uh, there, the video will be here so you can <laughs> see more. Okay, I just wanted to go through the whole sort of structure thing before. Yep, yep, yep. Does it make sense? It makes it... sense, yes. Okay. 
So I've text me, Rallo, if you need me to look at anything. Um, okay. I'm happy all of you actually, as you're working on this. Okay, and we'll see you later. Sorry, I had to drop out. But, you know, it's okay, it's okay. We can be doing this all year. I came back from vacation. It's been non-stop since I got back, so. I cannot, I cannot imagine. I, can even, I cannot even imagine. <laughs> okay, see you all. All right, have fun. Bye. 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 Um, oh, that is a terrible picture to be stopped on. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh great. My. It's great. It's, oh. <laughs> Let me stop this right now. <laughs> Here. There we go. Stop that nonsense. Um, are you guys ready to take a look at the next step? And I want you to watch this closely because I've just watched it. I want you not to jump ahead too fast. So let me pull off. I'm going to pull off the uh, photo. Just watch for a minute and then I'll put the photo back on. Um, so it's easy if you don't have your proportions right to do this kind of thing with her bun and her hair. Um, I want you to deal with the bottom lines first. So we know that this eye length here is kind of where the shape of the face goes and that the ear, this is what people miss, kind of comes um, more in an angle like that. And the ear lines up with sort of over the, her eye here and then her mouth here. So the trick is kind of getting this Correct. And then if you'll notice, well, actually, we're not even going to do that yet. I'm going to do the inside lines of her, her hair first. So before we get those outside lines in and get them wrong, we want to try and get this. I'm not saying I have a right yet. I'm just saying. But I start by focusing on this. Notice this is almost straight up from the back of her ear. And then it bends in. So the hair is always way wider. You, everybody wants to kind of curve in the hair here and do that. But that's not what's really happening. Hair and skull uh, structure are much, they take up much more space than we think, particularly from the three quarter position. I'm not really, there we go. That feels more And then I'm gonna check how wide my face is in several parts by using the features that are next to it. So to check where my face ends here, where the ear starts, I'm going to use my nose as a measurement. And that's about one and a half noses. So if I have two noses, okay, that's in pretty good shape. It's actually one here. It's a little bit Oh, that's pretty good. So before I start drawing this, I want to have this area sculpted. Just a little piece of hair here, and then here. Tiny little bit of neck. Mostly in this crazy 
Yes. That doesn't look right. I wonder if I don't have her bent at an angle enough. Yep. So you see, I'm like doing a lot of shifting as I get into the details of this drawing. I know that for eyes, I want to make sure that is, yep. I know her eye comes down more. I can't really get into the details because right now I can't see them. But eye is coming down more, which means nose. Oh. Well, not too bad, I think. We'll go back into getting into the features. I'll switch to a new thing, but getting them in the right places is really the first step. Yeah, there we go. I had her hairline way too low. I wasn't really accounting for her eyebrows at that point. Any requests, by the way, for somebody we draw next week? We'll do somebody else tomorrow and Thursday's class. And then Friday, we're going to do cats in ink. So if that sounds like a relief. <laughs> all tomorrow this. is the New York class, right? What's that? Tomorrow is the New York class, right? From tomorrow is block three. Yeah, it's New York. So it'll be uh, three o'clock for LA people. Um, probably impossible timing for India. Um, <laughs> yeah, 3 30 a.m. And the more right, right? Mm -hmm. Even like yes. even even the diehards, <laughs> that is not yeah, we respect <laughs> that's the one that is too bad. That that is the one time zone that just does not work for you guys. I'm planning to come for cats and ink. Excellent. I think cats and ink is gonna feel amazing after this. <laughs> and one of the things I really want to emphasize again with you guys is that my expectation is not necessarily that you get it on this go round, but that you're introduced to the principles. And as Jillian was saying at the beginning of class, yeah, she's like, yeah, yeah, I get it. You know, like there's, there's measurements that have to be done and that concept is almost as important as anything else because we can use these principles to measure anything. So at this point, is it more helpful to look at this big or is it helpful to look at her face big? I'm still looking at what you have on the screen. Okay.
So this is where um, people who have trained themselves to draw and haven't been trained how to draw, this is where they always fall down, is in here. They can never get this right because they're not thinking constructively how to construct this drawing, how much space this is taking up. So psychologically, we want to minimize it, right? But this hair, I mean, and this actually really honestly, any, the back of the head takes up a lot more real estate than we think. I love this dress. Although the neck looks kind of choky. I heard somebody take a picture. Should uh, I'm going to take this down for just a second and take a look? Yeah, it's me. Let's see. So let me put up the share screen so you guys have that to look at at least. Better, Lisa. Better. All right, I'm going to get a beer, and I okay. I know you think people draw better when they're drinking, but I doubt I'm one of those people. But <laughs> beer, <laughs> anyway. Better. The portions are pretty good. Which wine? He's away for her beer. She's away for her beer. Oh, that's true. Right. Okay. Here, here. Let me put this back up. Unless somebody else wants me to take a look. In a little one. Okay. Before taking. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Uh, sorry about that. Here, hold on, guys. Um, ah, go away. Sorry, my screen is getting in my way, so I cannot hear. There we go. Okay, and if you want, I can stop the share and we can go back to this one. Go back to my demo here. Notice she's got kind of a Funny, the other day when I was drawing her, I thought she had more of a heart-shaped jaw, but she has, like me, she has kind of a square jaw. 
It's like, it's a little hard to see, which is why you guys might be struggling to draw this. There's a lost edge here. It's a kind of square here, and then it comes up like that. <laughs> Sorry. Kitty. She is pretty happy. Yeah, she's a she's landed in the golden palace. How can she not be? Right. She knows. She is a lucky girl. Yeah. Being an animal in this house is good. Right? <laughs> So, you guys just keep going. Take a look. You don't have to take it all down now. I have to to look. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. Let's see. Until I get like another phone. Okay, let's see. Okay, Lisa B, you've gone way too far. Your features are too short, but face is too wide. So I want you to like slow it down and get your proportions more correct. Let's see, hold on here. Rashmi, I need you to take a picture of that standing straight up so I'm not looking at it from an angle. Oh. Um, okay. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, Lisa B, she is definitely more than the big problem, well, I don't know. Actually, I think Lisa B, her face is too wide. And you've got her nose way too narrow. So I'm going to point, at, let me show you. I'm going to pop back up here for a second on Zoom. I'm going to have to remember what you did here. But I think I can. So, hold on. Oh. I think what you've done is this. See, you see how I'm changing the face? I think that's what you've done. And I also feel that her eyes are too close together. So this one, her second eye needs to be, there needs to be uh, an actual eye space, a little bit more of an eye space between this one and this one, which will widen the nose. And then you'll be able to find out, if you look here, you'll see, that she's really only one and a half nose widths. That really, she's here. But I think that the biggest issue you've got is that her face is too wide, ear is sticking out too much. 
There we go. So that's what I would suggest for you. And widen her nose for sure. Um, and let me look at. Hold on. Sorry, am I making if I'm making you guys dizzy? <laughs> um, we don't need you for that. We can do that to ourselves. Ah. Proportions look pretty good. Rashmi, I'd say the same. I think her, I think Rashmi, you need to pretty good. Um, but I'm gonna show you two things. Number one, if you look at your you need to look at your drawing while I'm pointing on Zoom to what has happened. So number one, you've made her mouth equally on this side as it is on this side. And that oh, is okay, yeah, that's not good. Right? right? And the second thing is that, um, okay, let me see if I can remember yours. Uh, I'm looking at it again, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't remember without looking at it. Uh, here's another thing. It was. Is my right eye too wide? Yes. The one. Uh, way too wide. So that's part of the problem. Mm. Um, one. That side looks okay, though. This side looks okay. Fine. Oops. Yeah, I'll point to you. No, the video has got stuck. Yep, that's okay. Yep, the left, it's the, the right, the, our right side. Hmm. First, right? Yeah. Um, uh, this side has to come in. But this side's okay. not that bad. Okay, thanks. Yeah, you need to. Okay. And then Jillian. Jillian, her eyes are way too big. Way, way too big. Too tall. Uh, and we haven't really done them yet. So I would say, let me take a look here. Um, and also, like Rashmi, you have her too. You have her way too. One, two. You have her. You have her uh, face way too wide on our right. Um, uh, the structure, the con the construction looks pretty good though. So here, I'll point it out to you. The, the cheekbones too wide on the right. Way too cheek. Yeah, way too wide. You're coming out. I'll show you how it looks in a second. Hold on. You're coming out like this. So the left side looks pretty good. But on the right side, you're doing, on our right side, you're doing this. Yeah, yeah. That's what you did. Okay. So this needs to be, what happens is, it's when we draw a curve, we exaggerate the curve. So you kind of have to ignore those cheekbones right now. Later, you'll get them in when you do shading. But at this stage, I mean, look at even that just little tiny dented line. She looks like Nina Simone right now. <laughs> Good job, you guys. Okay, so I feel like we're almost, we're ready to go on to, um, to talk about features a little bit. I want to, I can totally get a picture of this, but I want to look at her face without all these marks on it. No, I, have, I have learned I need to have several copies of this. So, I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna do eyes again. I'm gonna review eyes. Lisa, are you there? Lisa B is there. Lisa, yes, Lisa R, you're there too. Okay. Yep. So I wanted to draw eyes. So I'm gonna draw her eye. I'm gonna draw it big down here so that you guys can see it. Notice that from this angle, there's almost kind of a, I'm drawing this eye now. It's almost a, an upside down V. And this side is slightly, on this side. And remember, although it's slanted, it's still mostly straight down here. And then, of course, what we're paying attention to is that th we're paying attention to how her iris, how there's way more white on this side than on this side. So as you're trying to do, structure this, it's hard to do with my chunky 
our call. Um, kind of like that, right? So I'm paying attention and it's a little bit dark here and then there's a dark tear duct here. And then um, remember the sort of distinctive part of her face are those upper eyelids. So we can see the line, but it's pretty close to her lid line. It's not as like, um, for example, as far up as me, um, but it's not as close as MLK's was. Remember MLK's was like, his upper lid line was like right on. And then she's got this eyebrow, it's a little bit, it's about that much space under, so that's not the eyebrow, that's actually underneath the eyebrow. So when I'm sketching in the eyebrow, I'm thinking as much, So these are the upper shapes, right? Outer shapes. And then if you remember, as always, there is this dark line around the edge. There's the dark pupil in the center. And then here, hmm, we're kind of darkening around that little white spot. And we're keeping it a little bit lighter here. And remember, even though she's got big, beautiful eyes, we're not really drawing in the eyelashes. We're just darkening that top lid. Also kind of lightly. So that's the kind of basic eye thing that's going on with her. And if you'll notice, this eye has an even more extreme down, up and down. So really pay attention to shape as you're working on those. I'll start to work on that in a second, but I want to talk about nose for a second. So if you remember correctly, we're going to draw the bottom shape of the nose in this particular case, right? It's kind of a, she's more of a pig than a fox, okay? And I want to really emphasize here that you guys is, are strong desire is going to be to do this big rectangle like this of dark. That is not going to look right. You see how she already looks like a pig? It's too much dark. So instead, we need to minimize, even when we're looking right up somebody's nose because of the shape of their nose and the position. In reality, the dark line is just like a, a, a line, a single line like that. And then come in. That's as dark as it gets. And then it can be kind of medium if you want to down there. But mostly we're going to focus on the shading of the bottom of the nose. And remember, middle part here is light. And everything else is kind of lightly shaded. Lighter on this side. Slightly darker on that side. So we're really minimizing that um, that dark nostril. In reality, what's really happening is it's dark right at the top, and then it gets very it gets lighter as you come down. So that's why it doesn't look right when you try to darken that whole area. Even though that whole area looks dark to us, it's not really that dark. And then remember, as always, the top lip 
is darker than the bottom. But look at what's happening to her lip in particular because she turned like the very top of it. I have light. And of course, the bottom lip is much lighter. It's a really dark edge right here. And then this the bottom lip. Okay. And then the last thing I'll show you is the shading. In fact, I've got the little shading part here. You can see the sort of transitions from that as well. You can see these transitions from darker to medium dark to lighter to lighter to light, 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 dark, right? Up here. So that's the shading chart. This is like the shading chart. You can also go in and darken her hair. Her hair, as you notice, her hair, like almost always, is darker than the skin. So the hair. I might have a nose a little too wide. I'm bringing it in just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. So. That is the kind of review of the pictures and things. So I'll be working on this. Uh, I can work on this on the side while I put up the picture again. Would that be helpful? Yeah. You can watch me if you want to, but you also have the option here. Hold on. I will continue working. So you can look at me if you're wanting to work, but here is the actual photo. So notice, although she's a dark-skinned woman, she's got a lot of really light areas in her face. I'm watching them doing her eye. I'm noticing how easy it is to make her eye too big. Be aware of that. It's easy to do it outside the areas that we have designated for our features. And when you do it here, it doesn't look right. And you, that's the difference between kind of likeness and not likeness. It's not a likeness.
meditative, isn't it? Just paying attention to instruction, like just paying attention to measurement. Yeah, it's more extreme B on the on our right side of her eye, on, on our right eye, her left eye, which is why I keep saying our right. This one's hard, Leah. Really hard. <laughs> just do your best. All right. I just want to begin to introduce the idea of how you handle it. And the reason it's hard is that things are different than you expect them to be. Right? Shapes and things are a lot different. There's a lot of real estate in places that we aren't really expecting to see, and that becomes hard to wrap your mind around. Notice we can't on the right side, we can't even really see the image of her eyebrow. Kind of. to get the shading in. that even though we can't see the shading so much in the light side, it's still there. Everything below the eye begins to see Thank you. 
Yeah, I think my hairline is wrong. I'm going to send you a picture. Is that what we started off talking about? Yeah, I changed it, but I I did got it wrong. I see. I really had to. It's back farther than we think it is. Seriously. <laughs> I'll send you where mine is right now so you guys can kind of see the. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I'll take a look at the source for a second, Diane. I really have to look at that before I can do it. Yeah, it's all crooked. I mean, I can see it's crooked, so I'll just continue working. The hairline is wrong. Yeah, Lisa B, your uh, face is way too far out. Um, the edge of the face, where the edge of the face meets the ear, here, you need to bring it in. It's way too far out. The ear comes in and the face comes up like this. Got that? Also, it's way too, you've got it out too far on the right. So bring in her face here and here. That's gonna help you. Um, I'm gonna take a picture of this so you guys can see it. Right over on the chat so you can see it. Uh, Jillian, let's see, not too bad. Um, Jillian, her eyebrows are closer. Look at how close her eyebrows ride. Here, I'm going to point right here. Look at how close her eyebrow comes to that upper lid line. See that? Oh, I don't see the video view. Um, uh, I'm going to stop the share and I'm going to start the share again so you can see the share screen. So I've got the thing up big. Can you see that? So I'm pointing at the share screen now? Yeah. Okay. So look at how cool, look at that shape. Uh huh. Look at how close that is to the very edge of her upper lid line. In fact, you don't really have her upper lid line in there, so you need to get that in. And then you do that, you have her. Her eyebrows arching up, they aren't really. It's like a straight line here. It's like a deep. Right. Okay. I see what you're saying. Um, I like the shape of the face. I believe her mouth is too. Um, you've got her lip, got her mouth drooping too much. So bring that more into a straight line. Okay. I think that's looking pretty good. I would try. Darkening her hair because I think that's going to help you kind of solidify her. Other than that, it looks pretty good. Cool. I just sent mine so you guys can see where it is. Uh, okay, so let me look. Where do I have mine? I'm looking at the photo, Diana, so I can actually. Yeah, um, Diana, his uh, hairline comes much higher up than you have it. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm going to resend this. I'm going to resend this across the thread so you have this sketch of his here. Hold on. This should be helpful. It's got the planes of his face. There you go. Take a look at that. That should help you kind of get the face shape. So the thing is, he's, you know, Diana, he's narrower in the face. Yeah. Than I, I see the forehead is far too wide. So, and... Yeah, I'm, I'm adjusting it. We'll see how that works out. Leah? Yeah. Yeah, hi. I would have to leave. I have to go to work now. Oh. So what I'll see the rest of it on video on YouTube. Yes. And I'll send you the and, and finished Ron, thing. No, you can yeah. always send me stuff if you want, right? Yeah. Look at it whenever. Have a great okay. Yeah. Thank you. See you tomorrow night. <laughs>
I just don't you mind, Leah. Hang on just a second. Sorry, I lost my WhatsApp for a second. Sometimes it disappears. <laughs> All right. So, Lisa, you have both her eyes. Um, this one's higher. This one's actually. Right. Yep. Uh, well, Lisa, I wasn't thinking Lisa B, I was thinking Lisa R, but perhaps that is true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Lower. And then get her, look at how close her eyebrow is to that hairline. Oh, that? God, yeah. So, you, so we're always thinking about the space next to what we're drawing, like, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep going. But you're doing good. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. This is a hard one. It's hard because so much is unexpected about it. Have you done this one before, Leah? I did do it once. I did it with my Sunday group. So I did it, I did it once. I'm trying to do, but that's the only time I've ever done it. I'm trying to do new ones all the time so that you guys, I'm not at a particular advantage over you guys, but you know, I want to be able to make those mistakes for you in front of you. <laughs> You're supposed to be at an advantage from us. Yeah, I mean, I have the advantage I have is I have a lot more skill and practice, but uh, that's my advantage, right? I have that. Uh, and I have the construction in my head, but I, I want to pick subjects that are as new to me as you guys, because I think that's fair. I think you'll learn more by watching me backtrack a little bit and go forward and go, okay, like here's where the mistakes are. As opposed to doing something I've done like a hundred, you know, a yeah. hundred times. That's just not the same. So anyway, yeah, I found this really challenging. It was a challenge. Oh, yeah, I don't even know what we'll do in tomorrow's class. I haven't decided yet. I'll do a little search tonight and find somebody else. And then you guys will have, amongst the videos, you'll have many choices, or you can do them all.
Lisa Richwine, I'm going to send you a picture of the cabin that you get to stay in when you go up to the farm. Uh, so yeah, Lisa won that stay. Awesome. Hold on, I'm going to show you where you get to stay. Awesome. I'm excited. I'm excited. One day after the pandemic. Yeah, or any, you know, like, honestly, this is a place you could be. Where did the competition come from? Oh, um, I did a bath party of little watercolors. And, 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 as, and five of the watercolors I were this farm that I, um, that's cool. So, well, let's see, how do I shorten this, Jillian? Oh, Just, love that, Leah. That's the cabin you get to stay in. Wow. It's got a whole kitchen, it's got a bedroom, it's got a VCR, and like electricity, <laughs> it's got like a little shower and a little, it's amazing. Uh, Absolutely great. Anyway, Jillian, I had a bath release party uh, two weeks ago in which I sold off uh, I put up 30 new watercolors for sale. And if you showed up, you got a chance to win a, um, among other things, a, 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 a one night or two night stay at this cabin in the woods, which is in Washington. Awesome. And Lisa Richwine won it. And so I am adding on to that prize. Lisa will get to stay two nights in my Airbnb in Portland. So when you get to Portland, Lisa, you can stay at my Airbnb. That'll be part of your prize. Oh and my God, it's getting better by the minute. Right? This is amazing. Yes, and this farm, Jillian, is, um, I think, I don't know if you've been around when I've told you about it, but it's, uh, it's my friends own the farm and they are starting a college there for underserved youth, like a two- the school so we're starting the fundraising to build the first school building so I, I i get five of the paintings i sold were paintings of the farm and um i gave them away to i gave the money to the farm for the uh, to build the school and this painting is one of 10 that i that are being auctioned off as the big farm fundraiser for the farm so those are being auctioned off this week um, to also raise money for the farm. Lovely. Yeah. Bidding process is really weird. It is really weird. I told them not to do it that way, but that's how they wanted to do it. <laughs> so, so you have to go on the Facebook event and then find the discussion. Have you bid on anything, Diana? No, I haven't because I haven't figured it out. <laughs> oh, well, I'll tell you how to do it. I'll tell you how to do it. It's, um, I'll send you, I'll send you the best link. Yeah, it's awkward, but uh, you know, hey, it's not my thing. I just did the paintings. I provided the paintings, so. <laughs> and I, uh, Jillian, the thing that's really amazing about this place is that our, our friend Roan um, survived a hate crime. He was attacked uh, in his yard, black while gardening um, in Tacoma 20 years ago by his next-door neighbor who was a proud boy. And uh, he, the, the neighbor put a machete through Rome. <gasps> yes. No way. But Rome managed to kill one of them, somehow survived it, I don't know how. He says he doesn't remember. Oh my gosh. The last thing he remembers is looking over the, watching these two guys climb over the his fence with a machete and going, no, they're not gonna, no, they're not gonna, oh my fucking God, they just did. Wow. Yes, right. But it was fucked up and damaging. It was traumatic. So yeah. he bought the, far, the land, which had nothing on it originally, as a place to heal, and then as he healed, he was like, I wanna like turn this into a legacy project. So that's kind of, that's how this started. And he managed to kill one of them, which I think is really awesome. <laughs> wow right like what uh what yeah. a what a um strong will to live that's 
somebody puts a machete through you and somehow you still manage to survive. I mean, when he got there, when the police got there, he was in a coma. Ugh. But he somehow managed to defend himself. Wow. When did that happen, Leah? How long ago? 10 years ago. Cool. 10 years ago. 2018. <laughs> so they are just at the process of starting to open up the form. Um, I mean, they've had the cabins for a while and they've been Airbnb being the one that like that one that I just sent you guys like, oh, it's gorgeous. Here, at least I'm going to send you a couple of insights. I think I still have inside pictures. There. there you go, Diana. Now you're starting to get it. Yep. Yep. So no. The thing is the slenderness of his face, right? Yeah, one eye is too big, and I, it's fatal. Having it though, but that's what I found when I drew him too. Is that it was easy for me to give him more hairline than he really had. There you go. Yep. Now we're seeing Dr. King. And then, well, it's a long way to go, but uh, it's better than it was. He's coming. He's coming. Your vice president is speaking right now. <laughs> I thought I heard Mike Pence. He can go fuck himself. <laughs> Right, so Lana, you don't, the trick with drawing teeth, actually that's not too bad. I like it. So Lana, the trick with drawing teeth is here, let me see, I'll just type it in, is not to draw all the teeth lines. So just to draw the dark shadows where the lip sort of, make the teeth kind of gray. But actually, I think it looks pretty good. It's uh, uh, based on like um, the arrangement configuration is correct, but the you know the expression is not correct. Um, so you need to get the shading in. It, once you get the shading in on her face, it's going to look uh, better. And also notice that notice what's happening with her eyes. There's this kind of. Uh, there's a shape here that I think you've got her eyes too wide open. And really there's a shape here of the lid coming over the eyelid. If you pay attention to that, it's gonna look more like her. Um, but I like it. I think you've got the shape of everything. And let me send you the, um, here, I'm gonna take a picture of the shading guidelines so you know where to put shading. Okay, thank you. And uh, do you think it's possible to do in oil or just like it's because actually I'm using like paper, not paper, like canvas, just regular canvas. I'm not sure if, if I will be able to do that, but. I would just do it in pencil. I think it's looking really good as a pencil drawing. Do you want to paint it? Okay, thank you. Do you, I mean, let me. I mean, it would be a free oil, but oil is a painting, an oil face is a whole thing. <laughs> so, 
I'm like, you've got it done so nicely in, I like the shapes and everything in pencil. I would say it would be better to stick to pencil on this one. Mixed base colors is a, is a whole class in itself. We're not very So just uh, something like too dark to make it like shadows. Yep, I'm showing you how, I'm sending you the face patterns, the face uh, things um, shading right now so you can see how it works. Okay, thank you. It's not my face, but you'll see it works for everyone. There's more face shading than you think, and you really, and pay attention to the eyes. Okay, hold on. Give me a minute. I'm fixing my eyes, yeah. There you go. Okay, so I just sent you face shading. Okay. And then with her, and so you have an interesting point. Let me look at her picture again. Um, I think you got, is this is your mom, you said? Yeah, yeah. Adorable. <laughs> She's like really love. I love her. I love her face. She looks it's like. Whatever picture, it's whatever picture I had it like on the, uh, like with me on like large print out because uh, it's it's not the best. She is much more more beautiful in the life. I mean, but, but she's beautiful. But she's beautiful in this picture. I see it. I see her beauty in this picture. And actually, I think you kind of got the delicacy of her face. Yeah, I love it. Um. So, I'm trying to decide what I would do if I were you. Is Darken the hair where it meets her skin. So kind of here, this area. I'm pointing here, but on you know on the different figure. You even though she's got light gray hair, you can see that most of her hair ha is slightly darker. So you're gonna want to darken that. You're gonna want to add those in too. There's this kind of little white streak that's on the top left. But the rest of it is kind of a, a light gray. So I would say add the shading in. Uh, remember to darken the upper lip. Darken the upper lip and lighten the lower lip. Okay, okay. Um, and then the other thing I'm gonna send you is my little picture on how to do mouths because I have something on teeth that might be helpful for you. Oh, okay, thank you. Man. So here, hold on. Lana, I honestly think that's that is one of the best drawings I've I've seen you do. It's remarkable. You really got her. I got the picture, thanks. Yeah. So try to use like uh, charcoals or something like that, or just dark colors of uh, dark pencils and make it shadows. Yes, exactly. Just do everything in shades of gray. And if it's confusing, turn her photo into a black and white one so that you can see the darks and lights. You know what I mean? So you're not confused by the colors. I got it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you got it. You know this one. Okay, Diana, as soon as this is done, oh, wait, maybe I can do this on my phone. I'm going to try and send you something by the Facebook.
something about about bidding on the if you want uh, to if you don't want me to bother you with that i don't have to bother you with that but i'm like if you want to bother me because i at least i want to have a chance to yeah 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 okay so you're gonna need to i think the confusion i have signed up yes I that um so the confusion is that uh, once you go to this face, it's all on Facebook. So you need to go to this link and then uh, find the paintings. Yeah, they didn't do a good job of describing this. Click on description. We've got about five or ten minutes left, guys. Do you want to send me what you've got? Yeah. Maybe I'll finish this one this week. <laughs> I think you will. I think it's close. It's really close. Oh yeah, 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 starting to get there. Yep, now I feel king. I love uh, his lips. I like his nose. I really love the shadow under his nose. He's got some really great um, highlights on his, like sh sh like planes on his nose, doesn't he, Diana, for painting? You've really got them. I like him. Thank you. Really love him. Well, you're so good with the planes and the shadows. You're so good with that. Thank you. It's coming back, right? It's like riding a bike. Yeah, it's slowly coming back. But I, I feel more confident than just a little while back. back. Yeah, it's that it's coming back. I can totally see it. And all your skill, all that skill that you've already had, all that practice you've already had, it's definitely there. I'm really grateful that this happened, so I got back to painting. Yeah, because it's your natural state. Does anybody else want to send something to me before we end class? I'm going to send you... I'll send you mine, Leah. It's, it's not great, but I will send it. All right. You did good. It's all about the, it's all about diving in and trying. I'm having trouble with her mouth. She looks way happier in my drawing than she actually is. She looks more stern. Okay, so... Yeah, she looks very stern. Jillian, the mouth is too slanted down. So you actually have done this. Her mouth is going like this. It's much more straight across. It's higher up and it goes down at a diagonal. Do you see that? So it's, it's more at a diagonal and you have it going just down. You have her frowning. That's not what's happening. Otherwise, um, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Yeah, Lisa, you're doing good. All right. Which Lisa? So, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, Lisa B, three times I've told you, pull in her face, get it narrower. Uh, did you, I guess you did a little bit, but like, if you really wanna get her face, it's too narrow, like right now it's too narrow. 
it's too wide. So here it has to be narrower. The face has to come in more. That is your biggest issue. Other than the, yes. And then just give her her dark upper lip. Okay. You guys. This was a really super, super hard one. Does anybody else want to send me what they got? I sent you mine. Okay. It looks good, Lisa. This is hard. This was so hard. <laughs> I want you to think, like, this is the hardest thing, honestly, this is the hardest thing I'll ask you to do, ever. Well, thank you for telling me to use charcoal. I like that better. It is. <laughs> it's hard to get the detail, but it definitely is. All right, I'm gonna pull the share down. I just wanna see everybody for a second. So, great work, you guys. I know how hard this is. And I appreciate how hard you're working. Um, and just keep at it. I'll have the recording ready in about an hour. Um, there on the YouTube link. And then tomorrow we're going to do a different face, a three quarter face. So if you want to jump in on that at three o'clock, you can, or if you want to just watch the video later, it will be up later. So that's the idea. You can kind of watch the video, look at the construction. And not bad. Jillian, were you using watercolor pencil? Yeah. I like that. Yeah, so the main thing I'd say you need to work on is her, uh, her mouth is kind of turned down rather than yeah. on the side. Um, and that's exciting with the watercolor pencil to change it. <laughs> yeah, with watercolor pencil, isn't it? It doesn't like, it doesn't like to change. No, there's some good things, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard. With, <laughs> it's hard. It's, like with faces, it's the difference between likeness and not, you know, and not likeness is really, that's tricky. All right, you guys, continue working. Do great. And uh, I'll have this recording ready for you soon. And uh, I hope you can join. If you can join tomorrow, we'll be doing a different face. So hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Thanks Leah. Leah. Hold on, Carol. Thank you. Bye, everyone. All right, Lisa, are you on vacation all week? Yes, I am. So, are you joining us tomorrow? <laughs> um, I don't. I don't think I'll make it tomorrow, but I'll be there Friday. Oh, wonderful! Yes, awesome. All yeah, right. I'm, I'm totally in for the cats and ink. The cats and ink is going to be <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Great work, everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye.